Hello Year 7. So for today's lesson, what we're going to be doing is going on um, the internet and using um, Google Images to find images that relate to you and your identity. So you're going to be saving these images um, into a folder on your desktop um, and then you're going to be using these images later to create an artwork. So first things first, I understand some of you might know how to do this already, but this might be a new process for some of you as well. So for you, um, or for everyone, this will be a helpful video, but especially for those who haven't um, done this process before. So first things first, what we're going to do is make a folder on our desktop. So it's the same process um, on Mac or um, Windows. We're going to start off by right clicking or double finger clicking if you're on Mac um, on your desktop and we're going to create a new folder. Um, and we're going to call this folder 7VA images. Um, so if you want to change the name of a folder on Mac, you just cl click on the title on the name twice and you can um, change the name there. So if we click onto our folder, you can see that at this point it's empty. So we're going to use the internet to find images to put in there. So let's go to a internet browser. So you might be using Chrome, um, Safari, or Internet Explorer. It's the same process um, for all of them, though. So let's go on to Google. So this is where we're going to be thinking of um, kind of things that relate to our identity. So, you know, maybe it's a sport you like, maybe it's a food you like, maybe it's your cultural background. Um, and we're going to find as many as we can. So I'm thinking between 15 to 25. So for instance, um, let's have a look. So I really like eating ramen. So what we're gonna, I'm going to do is type ramen into Google. And we're going to go to Google Images, click on the Images tab. And we see a lot of different pictures of ramen that we could um, save and put into our folder. I also want to make sure that it's a good image quality. So what um, we're going to do is filter our searches to make sure that all the images that appear are of good quality or they're big enough that they're not going to be pixelated um, in the case that we have to print them out. So we go and click on tools and we go size um, and we want large. So this will only give us large images. So images that are large enough that when you print them off, they don't look too small for one or too pixelated, which is when you get those little kind of squares in the image and it's really blurry. So I'm going to find an image that I like. Um, And that one looks quite good. And we can see on here that yes, it is a large image. So those numbers down the bottom left um, corner there to, um, tell us how many pixels are in the image. So what we want to do now is right click or double finger click on the image. And we're going to go down to save image as. So it's important that you click on save image as, not save link as. Because um, we want to save the actual image. So let's click on that and you'll see a little window pop up. So we can decide what we're going to call the image. So I'm going to call this one ramen. We decide where it's going to go. So I want it to go to the desktop for now and then we can move it into our folder, which is also on our desktop. And I want to make sure that it's the right image type or that it's an image file. Um, so JPEG is good. You might get other files like PNG. Um, what we want to avoid is um, a file type that's called a Google web page image, which we you can't actually use. So the JPEG's good. Let's click Save. 
and we can see that it's downloaded and it's on our desktop because that's where we sent it. So a few other things that um, relate to me, my identity. Um, so surfing. Let's go to size again, make sure we're on large, just so we're filtering out any small images. And that's quite a nice um, image there. So again, just as we did before, so right click if you're on a Windows um, laptop or double finger click if you're on a Mac. And we're gonna click on save image as. I'm gonna call this one surfing. And already I've noticed that this isn't an image type that we can use necessarily. So AVIF, which I'm not quite sure what that is, um, but it's not the traditional kind of JPEG or PNG or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. So we can't actually use that. Um, so I'll look for my next favorite one. That one's pretty good. It's definitely big enough. Um, so we'll you know, do the same process. Save image as, and it's a JPEG, so we can use that one. And I'm going to call this image surfing. So let's click save. And I can see there that it's downloaded. So you're going to do this, collect about, you know, find 15 to 25 images that kind of relate to you. Um, it could be any interest that you have. It could be, you know, an activity that you like to do. Um, a food you like to eat, a place you like to go, anything like that. So let's have a look what we're going to do once we're, we have our images. So I'm using two as an example here. Obviously you'd use, you know, you, you need to get a lot more than two, but it'll be the same process. So we can see our folder here, um, which is where we want to save the images so we can use them later. Um, we can see our images here. So there's a couple of ways to do this, um, but they all end up with the same result. So the first one is you can just click on it and drag it and drop it in the folder. And if we open it up, we can see that we've got our image there. The other thing you can do is if for whatever reason you don't wanna do that, you can open up a finder window or if you're on a Windows um, computer, click that little button down the bottom there and you'll see a list of all the folders and places where you can keep files. So let's go to our desktop, which is where our things are and you can do the same thing or if you see it pop up as a list, um, we're just dropping it there. And if we open our folder, we can see that, yep, our images are safe in there. So that's essentially what I want you to do today. So as I said, find 15 to 25 images that relate to you and your identity. Um, save them uh, in a folder on your desktop called 7VA images. And those images will come in handy very soon. Okay.